Hey guys, sorry I got cut off there. This is Spec from Clan Gamers bringing you Let's Play Episode 8 of Minish Cap. So, yeah, we're still in the Fire Temple, or I can't remember the exact name of it, we're stu weirdly, but I'm in the Fire. This is basically the Fire Temple of this game. And, okay. So we got like halfway through, and now in this episode, we took the minecart, got here, and. We found a minish place, and now we're gonna have to get through these, I wanna say, splicey thingamajigs. Okay. So now you're gonna see a maze here, and you're gonna see these. Well, I'm not even sure what they are. You'll s they're like just standing still, there's really nothing important with them. <sighs> but you can't really slice them, you can't really do much to them at all. So you're just gonna have to leave them there. But. Once you turn big, now here's the problem, like, as you turn big, they grow blades and they increase in speed as they're going, as they're moving, so, yeah. Uh, do you just gotta maneuver around them and take out your cane of Pocky and and flip it. Now they have a mine cart to go on, you, uh, slice the rail cart and you go on ahead. So now just slice up these things, throw them so you can get to that switch over there. And yeah, basically that's it. Let's try and get this guy. And okay. Let's wait, I need to, ow, oh, okay. I guess he turned back into human, or I just said this thing's a human, wow. It's like a dinosaur slug hybrid. I don't even know. But okay, now that we fixed that small little puzzle there, we got the switch. Now we're going to move it over here and get it into that hole and then we can activate it. Which I don't understand because can't you just like shoot your gust jar or something at it to move the switch or like jump and slice? I don't even know. I mean, I feel like I could just do that and it'll activate it. But whatever. So now that we're, we're done with that, we go up onto the sledge, jump down at a weirder point, and get the kinstone piece. Now, we jump out of this hole, and we get another kinstone piece at another ledge that you can't get to on this. Well, my commentary is pretty bad. I don't know, like, I don't know, like, I'm just not feeling it right now, but I gotta put it out another episode. Actually, I am feeling it, it's just I can't talk. I do not know. But okay, now we're in, I think this is the final room. Or one of the final rooms. Yeah, I think this is the the last big room. So we're going to want to turn that and get out over here. Slice all this and activate that switch. Okay. Let's wait a bit. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now, what you're going to want to do is wait and get on it. Okay. Now, you're going to... Basically, this is all in good timing. You got to make sure you you uh, flip it so you could walk on it. And make sure you get on the safe platforms as soon as time is about to run out on your little voyage. So, uh, basically, what I'm doing is making myself a nice little platform so I'm safe then I flip that then I get on it so it's pretty simple it's really not that hard when I was a kid I struggled with this puzzle so much I can't even explain how much I struggled with this puzzle like it wasn't huge like th these parts were easy for me it's the gust parts I don't know like I just was like what do I do oh okay so you jump here now you don't have to go this way, but I guess you can if you want, just to get a good item. Or it's not really a good item, but if you want to get a free item. It's another kinstone piece. Kinstone pieces really cannot hurt you in this game. They're actually pretty nice to have, so you're going to want to collect as many as you want. Ow, 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 okay. <laughs> I just took like two hearts of damage. So use the cane of Pocky on this hole, flip up onto that ledge. And now you're going to see this piece of gust in this area. You're just going to want to use the cane of Pocky on that hole and boosh, kaboosh, you can now flip. Okay, or fly. <laughs> I just flip, flip a dip. 
Okay, um, let's go on this air current right here so we can fly again. And let's get over to this ledge. Okay. So, yeah, let's just keep going. Now we're going to be back in the real main room, and we're going to be hovering over all these rocks. Wait, is there any way to get... Okay, I better fall in the lava so I don't, like, have to restart the entire room. Oh, my God. Oh, now let's fly over here. You're going to want to fly in between the rocks because you can't really travel over the rocks. I was an idiot and thought you could. So... Oh, there's nothing over here. Crap. Come on, come on, make it, make it, make it, and I made it. Okay. Okay, slice all these fires so the fires dim out. Get up on the sledge. There's so much lava everywhere. Oh my god. It looks so deadly. I do not want to die. Okay. Now this is optional. You don't have to do this, but if you want that chest over there, just fly down like like so. And it's not like you can't get back up. There's a little uh, pot up. Uh, I want to say sinkhole right there. Or a little hole in the ground you can just cane a pocky out of. And then you're back into your little path you're going to want to be going on. So, let's keep going. And before you know it, you get to the last chest of this dungeon. Which contains the boss key, or the big key. So, now we're back here. Now... There's a lot of talking I guess I could do at this part because I want to say I took the long way out. This is like a good 1 minute and 30 seconds of me trying to figure out how to get to the boss room. Which I just noticed. I'm... Wait. Oh yeah, no. I got stuck on this platform because you can't really get there. I'll show you how I thought you could get there. Give me just a minute. Like, I thought you could get on this little platform, get over there, flip there, stand on it, and, but I just know, and like, wait for the other platform to get on that and go. But you really can't, because it just does not work that way. <sighs> and I thought maybe, oh, there's a way this way, but there wasn't, so... And I found myself to be stuck on this little platform, which kind of sucks. Because I could have just jumped down over there on the left. And I'm just like, eh, I made such a bad decision. So, yeah. <laughs> this really... I'm in a huge predicament. Yeah, so, I'm just going to talk about my vacation as I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, basically, I just was at Boy Scout camp for a week. Then as soon as I got back, I was at my house for a good three hours. Then I had to head over on vacation in New Jersey, and I was just like, eh, okay. But I I, if I had time, I would have put out a video in that three hours that I was gone. But, yeah, I just didn't. So here's where I had a plan. I was going to save... Uh, this was actually a okay plan. Like, this was an easy way to get out of the situation. I could have just killed myself, I suppose, but what's the fun of that? So I saved my game. I figured I'd just apologize a bit. I was like, eh. I'm, remember, I'm not, like, playing as I'm commentating. I'm commentating after I'm playing. But basically, I just turned off the power and I, res and I restarted here. So now I'm at the beginning of the dungeon. Now I can easily just... Wait, wait, wait. Let me get some hearts. I need those full health so I can battle the boss. So, okay. I'm gonna, I figured I could hop in this red hole. And easily... Now I can just fight the boss. So that'll be easy. And I get a heart out of that fire. I do not know how that works. I didn't know hearts were started in fire. So... Ah, no. Okay. Damn it. Okay, then. Yeah, come back here. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do it a bit early. Okay, now. Let's just wait. Ugh, I hate waiting. Dun 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 Okay. Now, here's the fun part. Yeah, the boss room. And we all know what that means. Okay. 
and I fell. Now you're going to see this huge pit of lava in the center, and you're going to see a bunch of land surrounding it. And here we are. Here's the, our second boss of this game. I just I have no idea what his name is. I really gotta research this game. I'm gonna do a bit of research on this game so I can actually have accurate information. I forgot the name of this boss, but he's pretty. He's not odd looking. He's like a dragon with spiky back. Basically, his weak point is his back. He has a huge shell surrounding it. When it's lit up in red while he's shooting fire, you can't flip it. But when it's pure black and has a bit of red streaks around it, you can shoot it with the can of Pocky, And it flips and injures his back, makes his neck go down. You could just travel across his neck to reach his back. Then you slice his gem, I want to call it, on his back. And then he takes damage. Basically, you got to do that a few times. But as you're doing it, the lava expands and you have less room to run around. And... Uh, to add to that, rocks are falling and there's fire in some places. Ah, okay. So now he's going to be even spreading more fire. And I can't really... Okay, got it. Now I can attack his back again. Let's slice him up. Now, let's go. And if you stay on his back, he'll lower and you'll get burned a bit. So I recommend not doing that. Ah, fire! Okay, he's and as you keep going, he spreads a lot of fire around. So you're gonna kind of want to watch out. Okay, good. Let's go. Ow! Wow, thanks. You just put me in the lava. I mean, I guess I'm trying to kill you, so I kind of deserved it, but... Yeah. Now, when I was a kid, I was an idiot, because... I thought you needed the gust jar to get rid of the fire, so I always took out the gust jar. But I never knew you needed this. You could just slice it, so. Yeah. Okay, lava's receding. I have more room, but rocks are still falling. Actually, no, they just stopped. Okay, let's wait till he stops spreading the fire. Uh. I should kind of show you what happens if you get set on fire. But no, I'm not going to do that right now. Well, I guess I could just explain it. Okay, well, I won. Okay, I'll just explain it. If you got lit on fire, you can't do anything. You just go s double speed and you are pretty much holding your butt as you're running around and there's fire on your butt. And you're clutching it, trying to put it out, and you're running around. Can't do anything in this mode. You just gotta wait it out. Okay, so now we got the element of fire. So now we can infuse it in our sword, or the Kokiri sword, I think it's called. And now we should be good. Yep, the fire and the flames bring light to the darkness. Uh, okay, guys. I think that really should be it in this episode. Uh, okay, let's get this heart container. Now we have six hearts. I just need one more heart piece, and then I should be able to get seven. Okay, so I guess that's going to be the end of the episode. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day, everyone. I'll put this video out. See ya.